Uh, he's 26 and 0, 17 knockouts, WBC, WBO junior welterweight champion of the world. Um, he is also attempting to become the first me uh, me uh, man of Mexican descent to be undisputed champion here in the four belt era. Of course, I'm talking about Jose Carlos Ramirez from California's Central Valley, proudly, represent proudly representing California's Central Valley, where he has done so much great uh, humanitarian work um, over there. So Jose, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, and can you just first start off with, now that it's fight week, and now that you're, what, four days away, how real does this fight feel? I mean, now that now that we're we're in fight week and we're in the crux of everything. Yeah, you know, it's exciting. You know, it's exciting. And uh, again, I, I I'm taking things day by day and, uh, you know, making sure everything, my body, my recovery, my my recovery, my, uh, my weight is good. And, uh, I feel really composed, you know, I feel like I trained really, really good. Uh, training camp went the best way it could have gone. And, uh, I did everything as perfect as I could. And, uh, we're ready, you know, we're ready to just go, go and go in that ring Saturday, Saturday night and, you know, perform. It's going to be a great fight. And uh, we, we have a lot of questions in the queue, so I'm going to try and get to as many people as I can, but obviously Jose's got a schedule to keep, so we can't keep him here forever. We will start with Keith Eidek. Keith, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Hey, Jose. Uh, I was just wondering, you know, when you fought uh, Jose Zapata, obviously it was a, a close fight. Southpaw. What did you learn from that fight? Um, not that they fight necessarily the same way, but what did you learn from that fight against a Southpaw that you did? Fly against Josh Taylor. Well, you know Jose Cepeda. He's a he's a softball, but he's a very uh, crafty, uh, difficult style. He's really low, and he when he comes in. Uh, uh, in a way, he was a little uh, careless in the way he walked. You know, he came in, and uh, he, I got caught with a couple of headbutts. Um, uh, you know, and I I myself like to fight low sometimes, but. Uh, but he, he was uh his style was a little difficult more than what I expected, um. But I faced many southpaws in my career as an amateur and my professional level. So, um, him and Taylor are completely different fighters. Is uh is Zapata trickier than Taylor, or vice versa, or how do you look at it? Yeah, well, I'll say, I mean, <clears throat> I'm not saying he's a better fighter than, than Taylor, um. But I'm just saying his his style his, his style was was a little bit more uh, was a little uh, difficult, you know. But once I I you know I put my my my, my punch together, I was able to uh, take him behind the ropes and and take advantage and and finish strong. Um, but uh, you know Taylor's taller. Uh, Taylor Taylor it's, he's more of a uh, in and out boxer. Um, you know, he could let his punches, you know, he could let his punches go on, on the inside when, when the, when, you know, he faces opponents that, that try to come in on the inside, but uh, uh, they're, they're completely different. And just one last question, Jose. Uh, obviously, if Zapata wins on uh, on Saturday on the undercard and you win, he's, he, you know, he's a mandatory for you to, to fight him again. What, what do you think about a potential rematch against him at some point? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I wouldn't care. All right, thank you, Th thank you very much, Keith. Um, now we go ahead to Raul Delgado, of Telmundo, Chicago. Raul um, and Jose Gardi, if you're there, uh, Raul is going to be answer uh, asking the question in Spanish. Um, so we will have Gardi uh, translate it for everybody uh, on the chat. Go ahead, Raul. Awesome, Jose, cómo te va? Eh, saludos. Eh, antes, antes que nada, este, quería comentarte cómo te sentiste en este campamento y especialmente, pues, ya para para este reto que significa Taylor, que pues obviamente sabemos que es un boxeador de, de calidad. No, me siento en primer lugar muy, muy bendecido ¿no? de llegar tan lejos y, y es un gran honor bueno, para mí ser parte de, un, de, un, de una pelea tan grande, tan importante para, para el boxeo y, y la verdad el campamento me fue muy bien, me sentí muy motivado, uh, uh, este, me sen, sentí... Emocion, emo, emocionado, so, so entrené fuerte, creció dentro de mí, de, de dar lo mejor de mí cada, cada uh, sesión de, de entrenamiento que hacía y, y primero Dios, eh, vamos 
todo el sacrificio, todo lo, todo lo que hice, uh, se va a mirar el 22 de mayo. Uh, I feel very blessed and honored to be part of such a big event as this one. You know, uh, as the days went by on training camp, my desire to, you know, to keep getting better and win, keep growing and growing. And I know that you're going to see that on Saturday night. Thank you hey, very Jose. much. Oh, oh. Sorry. Can I just get one, one more in, Evan, real yeah, quick? Uh, one more, L. Okay. Uh, Jose, has ido mejorando pelea por pelea. Ahora, ¿qué podemos esperar de ti este próximo sábado pues, ante un peleador como Tiel? Sí, yo creo que un peleador como Tiel va a sacar hasta cosas mejores de mí, porque él es técnico y, y, y cuando, uno, cuando te enfrentas con un boxeador más técnico, a, a hacer más cosas más claras y se ve la pelea más limpia. Y van a poder ver las cosas pequeñas que que, que van a demostrar la experiencia que tengo yo como boxeador y van a poder a mirar mis habilidades a mis habilidades y, y espero espero lucirme contra lucirme porque va a ser contra un gran boxeador so más crédito para mí uh, Gardy yeah so uh, you know I feel I feel honor and uh, of fighting uh, such a great fighter like uh, Josh Taylor Uh, I know he's going to bring the best out of me uh, and I'm going to show the the little things that I've been working on and and you're going to see that on Saturday. I know everything will come out on 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 Saturday night and against a great fighter like Josh Taylor. So that's going to be more credit to me. All right. Thank you very much, Ra Raul. We've got a ton of questions in the queue, so I'm going to limit it to one question per reporter. So that way, everybody, uh, as many people uh, can get a chance to ask a question as possible. Jeremy Harridges, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Hi, Jose. Thank you uh, for taking the time to talk. Um, I know in some of the media quotes building up to the fight, you've talked about being the underdog in the past, and you're aware that, that many people are picking against you. Um, does that ever surprise you considering all that you've accomplished and, and the numbers on paper, the experience, um, how do you view that? And, and why do you think people are picking against you? I'm not really sure. You know, um, I never been a, a big fan of, um, um, you know, opinions uh, such as who's, you know, who's the, who's the best out there, um, who's a better fighter between one or the other. You know, when you look back in, when boxing was alive, was more alive in the 60s, um, and, you know, they, everybody faced each other and, and one would beat the other guy and the other guy would beat the other guy. And it was, they were all beating, you know, winning against each other, beating against each other. And, and styles, you know, were sometimes a certain style was more complicated than the other. So in boxing, I felt like people have forgotten that, you know, I think they they don't understand that in this, in this, in this sport, Uh, every fight is going to be, especially in this level of competition, every fight is going to be tough. So I always train like the underdog. I, I always train like, like this is the most important fight and I have to, I, I couldn't, I, can, I, I cannot afford to lose, you know, so I, I have that mentality in me that I cannot afford to lose and, and uh, I'll find, a, I'll find a, way, a way to win and um, I'm very composed, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not paying attention too much of that, never have and I'm going out there just, uh, Uh, hoping to bring the best out of me and and hoping to uh, show my skills the best way I can. Thank you very much. Uh, as a reminder to everybody who's asking in the chat, as I mentioned before, after it's done, this chat will be available on the Top Rank YouTube channel. Um, feel free to use content, uh, take content from our channel for your channel. Happy to happy to do that. So there, there goes, there's uh, the answer to the question that everybody uh, keeps asking me in the chat. Um, if you joined me in the beginning, you would have known that. But, uh, you know, I, I, I got to let the stragglers know as well. A couple of UK questions we have coming in here. I feel, feel it's only uh, only fitting to, to get to a couple of people from across the pond. Boxing UK, you are up. Uh, go ahead when ready. Hi, Jose. It's Steve from Boxing UK. Hello, Steve. Hi, Jose. Obviously, over here in the UK, Jose, everybody knows an awful lot about Josh Taylor. And we can make an argument as to why Josh will win on Saturday. What can you tell us about you? And can you tell UK fans why you'll be the best man on Saturday? Well, um, one thing, you know, I've been preparing for this fight all my life since, since the age of eight years old. Uh, you know, I've, I, um, first and foremost, I've always respected the sport of boxing very, very much. And I'm a very dedicated person to the sport. Um, You know, I also respect the sport and everyone who participates in the sport of boxing, including all my opponents. 
And I'm happy to see that Josh Taylor has the support that he does from the UK. That, you know, that's the way he should be. Um, you know, we go through a lot. We sacrifice so much. We put uh, our lives on the line to entertain you guys. Um, so the least that we could expect is some support back, you know. So I'm happy to hear that he, he, does, he has a lot of support. I'm just a very determined fighter. And... I feel like a great fighter like Josh Taylor was going to bring the best out of Jose Ramirez. I'm, I'm very well prepared. I, I'm very confident with my skills. I'm a man of faith. And uh, I'm going to push myself and, and, you know, and I'll find a way to win on Saturday, May 22nd. Thank you, Steve, from, from Boxing UK. We uh, go uh, back to the UK. Um, a lot of Brits, a lot of Scots here in the chat, as uh, to be expected. Jonathan Nagioff. Please unmute yourself and go ahead. Very nice looking lounge chair you have there, Jonathan. More comfortable than what I'm sitting in. So good, good work on the lounge chair, sir. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Jose. Um, Josh has spoken of sort of the significance of winning this fight, not only becoming undisputed champion, but emulating what Ken, Ken Buchanan did as a Scotsman. For you, what is the significance not only of winning this fight, but, you know, yeah, other than just the belts? Yeah, this this is a fight that's gonna bring a lot of glory to to myself, to my family, and it's gonna make me the first Mexican fighter, Mexican descent, Mexican American fighter to become undisputed world champion in the history of boxing. So this is a historical fight for me as well. Um, you know, this 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 could open up the doors for the for the Hall of Fame for me in the future. You know, this is something that uh, <clears throat> that will put me in the books as one of the best to ever put some boxing gloves. You know, uh, this is this is a uh, a big fight for me, and uh, it's a fight that not only brings glory to the Mexican people in Mexico, but also to all the hardworking immigrants in the United States. As I'm a, as I'm a proud immigrant, immigrant myself. And uh, thank you for that. And uh, we, we go to our next question in a second. As as a programming reminder, both episodes of Blood, Sweat, and Tears, uh, Taylor, uh, Ramirez vs. Taylor, are now available on Top Ranks YouTube channel. They both premiered on ESPN two, so that's a two part behind the scenes look. 24-7 uh, style of, of this matchup. So please uh, give that a look. Um, and, and and as mentioned, Jose, this camp, um, Jose uh, obviously uh, is the, the son of uh, farm workers, worked in the worked in the fields uh, himself growing up in Central Valley. Um, and during this camp and, and during the pandemic, he's done a lot of work um, out, uh, out in the community, um, both to, to give the farm workers supplies and things they needed to get through the pandemic. Um, and worked with is working with local leaders and politicians to uh, inform farm workers about the importance um, of getting vaccinated and, and keeping uh, that community safe. So a couple of things Jose has been working uh, working very closely on uh, in this camp. Uh, so he's fighting for fighting for a lot, fighting for his Mexican people, fighting for um, his people in the Central Valley as he always does. Um, so we are going to go now to Jose Camarillo. Jose, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Sí, ¿qué tal eh, todos? Eh, hi, everyone. Eh, para José Carlos Ramírez, eh, está rodeado de familia michoacana. Eso es el nombre aquí de una banda no muy, no muy bien vista, o sea, gente que no es buena. Pero en este caso, la familia michoacana, eh, me refiero a que los García, desde su papá, eh, todos ellos están arropándote eso es una inspiración más que sea eh, que el papá de ellos de los García también sea inmigrante que sus papás son inmigrantes lo mencionaste todo ahorita que eres un orgulloso hijo de inmigrantes ¿qué me puedes decir esto en cuanto a que te sirva a levantar más tu espíritu para la pelea? What can you say about what can you say about uh, getting the support of uh the Garcia family, you know, from Robert to Big G, uh, everyone supporting you. And also, uh, they also be coming from uh, immigrant parents like yourself. Do you think that's going to uh, lift you up uh, with that support to get the, the, the big win on Saturday? Sí, la verdad, este, para mí es, la verdad, es un orgullo, en primer lugar, es un orgullo uh, llevar la sangre que llevo yo, um, me la pido mi mi apellido mi familia es es um, me han dado me han dado mucho mucho ánimo me ha, me ha dado uh, mucha fuerza de, de, de reconocer que mi familia fue una familia muy muy trabajadora muy fuerte 
Um, y la familia de Roberto, pues, es muy, es muy similar. Uh, ellos entienden, ellos entienden la vida que yo viví de chicos, porque fue muy similar. Uh, como lo dicen, ellos también emigraron de, del estado de Michoacán y, y somos, somos paisanos, pues. Y la que la quemestría que tenemos nosotros somos, es como una familia grande. Y me da gusto saber que ahí está toda la familia García apoyándome a mí. Eso me motiva mucho uh, porque durante todo el campamento ellos estuvieron ahí conmigo uh, motivándome y sacando lo mejor de mí. I feel very proud of the, the blood that runs through my veins. You know, I feel very proud of my last name, of my family, everything that we represent. Uh, we came, you know, we came uh, migrated from Michoacán and we have been all, always a very hardworking family. And about the Garcia family, you know, we also came, they also came from Michoacán as my, as my family. And it's great to have the support from them, you know, them motivating me every single day, you know, just to, to, to achieve my goal of becoming on the Spirit Champ. Gracias. Thank you very much. Uh, Erica Montoya, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Hi, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, mi pregunta, uh, Jose Carlos, me gustaría que me explicaras Tú dices que sientes muchísimo orgullo de llevar la sangre que tienes, pero para ti, ¿qué significaría convertirte en el primer campeón indiscutido con sangre mexicana? Vaya, ahora que todo el mundo compite por la posibilidad de tener ese tipo de distinción. You, uh, you said that you feel very proud of the, the blood that runs through your veins, but what would it mean to you to become the first undisputed champion of Mexican descent? Ah, uh, será será algo muy muy bonito no este de poderla representar como te digo la la mi familia la sangre que llevo uh, los gran los grandes guerreros que salen de, de, de México la buena sangre que sale de allá eh, este será un sentimiento muy grande que todavía no me lo puedo imaginar muy muy bien hasta hasta que se llegue el momento no uh, pero Espero traerles mucho orgullo y espero que estén todos contentos con mi, con, con mi presentación. Y yo creo que yo estoy dispuesto ¿no? de, de, de compartir toda esta alegría con, con, todo el, con todo el público, con toda la gente mexicana, toda la gente inmigrante, toda la gente trabajadora que, que, que le gusta luchar. Eh, Quisiera yo compartir todo, todo esto con, todo, con, todos, con todos ellos. Uh, I think it would be a beautiful moment, you know, a beautiful experience. Uh, right now, I cannot even imagine, you know, what, how, how will it be? But, uh, you know, uh, as, as, as soon as this happens, I know it's going to hit me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, share that moment and bring that happiness to all my people. I really, I really hope that uh, they are happy with my performance and that I that they're very proud of me. All right, we uh, one more question because Josh is uh, we're about to log in. So we'll, uh, you know, so I, I'll, the people who uh, were in the queue that, that couldn't get a question with Jose, I'll try and get you one uh, with Josh uh, as well. So I think it's only fitting that we, we close things off uh, with Jose in the Central Valley with Mike Rueda. So Mike, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Thank you, Jose, for taking time. Uh... Real quick, man, obviously you came from the Central Valley, you come from humble upbringings and, you know, you've worked hard to get where you're at. Even your biggest dreams as a kid growing up, becoming a boxer, did you ever think that you would get to a point in your career like this, fighting undisputed in the biggest fight of the year so far? When I first started boxing, you know, I had no idea what the, what the sport was going to do for me. Um, I'm, and I'm the first in my family to box. Uh, You know, my my parents they were just so focused on 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 working and providing for us. They wanted to make sure, they wanted to make sure we had a good a good education. They wanted to make sure that we had a a better life that, that than what they did, you know. And and they they didn't want us to suffer as much as they suffer. But you know, the 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 more I started winning as an amateur, the more I started uh, making it to bigger tournaments and, and competing against the best amateur fighters. Um, you know, and that's when I knew that. That the sport was going to do a lot for me, and that's when that's when I knew that the sport was going to help me uh, provide 
provide for my family and and to be able to help out you know i just wanted to return the favor you know i uh all the all the work that my father did for us you know didn't go unrecognized unrecognized um and i appreciated them so much that i wanted to to give back and, and help them you know and i told my father one day that that one day he was going to be his own boss so he wasn't going to have to work to, uh, again so you know those those were the goals that kept me um in the sport of boxing pushing myself to become the best and you know i'm grateful and, and, and honored to be in this level of competition i really am i really feel like a blessed man uh now i have my own family of my own and I may, I'm able to give them privileges that that you know never thought I was going to be able to give them, and uh, and I'm very thankful for that. And uh, that'll wrap up the Q and A part with Jose, uh, with Jose.